I started at the beginning of the 80s to show actively in Venice. An American foundation called Lannan Foundation from California came and decided to buy a work. I did this group show. I was not expecting more than this group show and out of the blue, the San Diego Museum of Contemporary Art decided to produce my solo exhibition. From that point, you know, I'm talking about 1989, this exhibition started my American story, to say, my American career. The beauty of New York is not the architecture, it's the people that make the richness of New York. This moment in my life, I'm doing mostly site-specific work in different cities, in different locations. My last experience has been in Istanbul, in 16 different venues, and the similar, you know, work I'm going to produce from India in 16 different or 19 different museums, venues, etc., etc. It's important for me to go there, to collect the object from there, to perceive the energy in there, and after to make some specific work for there, exactly designed for that space, because I really believe in something that is done for that location. Then, in a way, I'm going back to my roots of Italia, where, you know, the Florentine in the 14th century, they were painting for the church, they were painting the fresco for that cathedral. Sometimes in this international show, you can see the Metropolitan, a beautiful painting, but that painting are out of the location where they grew, where they bore for. The energy, we have to um, underline the fact that uh, different kinds of energy, obviously. This is the energy of the movement, this is the energy that we catalyze, this is the energy of the memory, you know, and so on. I'm coming from a country in which we store a lot of energy coming from the past. You know? and obviously, when I was living in Rome, Rome is a typical example, absolutely unique in the world, of four different cities, one on the top of the other. If you escape Rome, you have different levels you know, of century and century and thousand years in which one city is built on the top of the other. If you think the energy they are coming is very, very interesting. The energy of the memory changing object is the new energy in the new function. You know, the I'm putting on the top of the other energy is this addition of the previous energy and the new energy that makes something else. For example, if I take an old Victorian cloth, that's a banal thing, is an object that reminds you to the literature, literature of the time. It's still the fabric of the time, as manufactured by somebody. That object doesn't have any more that function. He has a new function. 